Hey, what's up guys? Uh, back again. I've got another Hales frag body to work on. This one is for uh, CD Young. Um, this one is interesting because uh, unlike the other ones that I've had, I've worked on, this one doesn't appear to have any sort of uh, gluing or, or metal darkening on it. It just has light surface rust and there's some evidence of paint, but I don't see any of that dark, you know, um, gluing or ox uh, oxide that they would have treated the metal with um, to uh, prevent it from rusting. But surprisingly, very little rust on it. Um, there's just a little bit of surface stuff. There's not even really pitting. There's some burrs that I gotta shave off. Um, and that's about it. I think this is gonna go pretty, pretty smooth. Um, yeah, so let's just uh, go ahead and uh, jump into trimming off those burrs. This has quite a few little, these little burrs. And they don't serve a purpose. It's actually a very slight manufacturing defect. I just use a X-Acto knife to shave them off. And if I have an older blade, I'll use that because it doesn't necessarily need to be super sharp for this to go. I'm just gonna start over here. Some of his are, the ones on here are kind of thick, thicker than the normal ones. Gosh, am I gonna be able to shave these off? I have to file them. seen and probably the most burrs I've seen on one of these frag bodies um, they wouldn't just break off or shave off the exacto blade like I normally do because they were so thick so I actually had to file every single one of them down and every single uh, of the curved rows because there's two essentially two different kinds of rows there's the straight rows and then there's the kind of curved rows they're a little bit curved at the end versus the ones that are straight all the way down um, Every single curved one on one side had burrs, so that's like five of five five of the rows had to be filed. Um, I am gonna I think I'm gonna take down this bottom edge um, just a teeny tiny bit with a file because this one side has a bit of pitting. Um, it's really the only spot that I think is significant as far as pitting, and it kind of looks like it might half of it might be build up, so a file uh, would be really beneficial to smoothing that over and making it look just a little bit sharper. Um, anyways, I'm going to do that real quick and then we're going to start with the wire wheeling. Here we go.
it's pretty clean. Uh, my hand's kind of numb <laughs> from all the vibration. Um, I just need to wipe all the dust off of it before I hit it with bluing, but it's a super clean frag body. It's really, really nice. It's uh, good condition. Only part, there's a little bit of pitting on this bottom edge that um, I couldn't quite get the wire wheel to remove the stuff from the recesses of the pits. So, um, but not a big deal. You don't see that when it's on your lightsaber. It's that, that whole bottom ring is covered. Um, and we're gonna treat it so it's not gonna rust further. So, um, should be good to go. I need to get all these wires off me and some of this dust off me before I proceed because I don't want to handle this anymore with dirty hands. Give it a rinse. Alright, All right, I gave it a rinse. Now I need to give it a thorough drying, a quick polish. Alright, so this grenade really took to the bluing. It came out pretty dark with just one coat, and I'm debating on if I want to do a second one on it. Um, I probably will do a second. I haven't decided yet, but I mean, look at how dark this is. I mean, that's as dark as usually what two, two coats gets. So, um, eh, I'll think about that. I had to take a little break. I, uh, had a, it's snowing today, and uh, we got five inches of snow. It's still snowing, actually, but I had to clear the driveway because tomorrow morning I do have to go to work. And uh, I got a little blister on my, my finger. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, maybe. Anyway. Um, hmm. Second coat or not? All right, so I've decided I'm going to do a second coat, and... I'm gonna do this real fast, so because my battery is almost dead. <laughs>
this looks really good. Um, we just gotta do our final step, and that's to hit it with barricade. All right, so that's it for this video. Um, that was a pretty routine um, uh, frag body restoration. Um, other than the burrs being particularly thick on that one, that's the first time, time I'd ever seen them so thick. Um, see, I had a couple others where they're real thin. I could easily shave them off with an X-Acto knife, but they were, you know, way, way too thick for that. Um, so, anyways, check out the blog, propchopshop.com. I hope that uh, C.D. Young likes his uh, frag body. Um, I'm going to be shipping it back to him here pretty soon. Um, I'm going to let this sit overnight and then... Um, so it can get as much of that barricade as possible. Anyways, talk to you later, guys.